So good morning everybody. Today we are discussing the topic stoichiometry in which the topic calculation of n factor. Before discussing this topic, let's let my introduction. This is Ramesh Chemistry Faculty, Senior Lecturer. Totally I have 70 years experience in IIT JE makes an advanced point of view. So now today the very very important for JE advanced orientation that is the calculation of n factor. Majority of the students are confusing to calculate the n factor in stoichiometry lesson. And a very important one in calculation of n factor in stoichiometry is the most important and confusing. So majority of the students are confusing in this topic. So let me clear explain how to calculate n factor. The calculation of n factor it is explained in so many concepts in the acids, bases, salts, oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Now in this class I clearly explain how to calculate n factor in oxidizing agents. Now, we take one more one important compound that is potassium permanganate came in the floor. What is the n factor of potassium permanganate? This is depending on the medium. In the acidic medium, in the acidic medium, KMnO4, in KMnO4 the ion is, the ion present in KMnO4 is MnO4 minus, the name of the ion is permanganate ion. In acidic medium, permanganate ion is converted to MnO4 minus ion is converted to Mn plus 2. Now, how to calculate M factor in this KMnO4? That is simple definition. M factor nothing but change in oxidation state, change in oxidation state per one mole of the compound. One mole of a compound. So if you take one mole of any compound, the change in oxygen state during the redox reaction, the change in oxygen state during the redox reaction is n factor. Now the oxygen state of manganese and permanganate is plus 7. The oxygen state of manganese and plus 2 is, I mean plus 2 is plus 2. Then change in oxygen state is 5. Therefore, m factor is 5. Why it is 5? As a definition, change in oxidation state per 1 mole of the compound is m factor. Here clearly you take 1 mole of permanganate ion. So, per 1 mole of permanganate, change in oxidation state is 5. That is why m factor is 5. What about uh, other mediums? In other medium, that is, in the basic medium, in basic medium, in strong basic medium, in strong basic medium, this permanganate ion is converted to MnO4 minus 2. The name of this ion is a permanganate ion. The name of this ion is manganate ion. In permanganate, the oxygen state is plus 7. In manganate, the oxygen state is plus 6. Therefore, change in oxygen state is 1. This change in oxygen state, is it equal to M factor? That is the very important. 
one question. Is it equal to m factor? Yes, it is equal to m factor since it is the change in the oxygen state per one mole of the compound. For one mole, the change is one, hence the m factor is one. So in a neutral medium, in a neutral medium, MnO4 minus is converted to MnO2. Here manganese oxygen state is plus 7. Here manganese oxygen state is plus 4. Therefore, the change in oxygen state is 3. Again, is it called M factor? Yes. It is also M factor because the change in oxygen state per 1 mole of the compound, this is equal to 3. Hence, for KMnO4, finally, what is the M factor for KMnO4? So, KMnO4 M factor calculation is depending on medium. In acidic medium, M factor is 5. In strong basic medium, the M factor is 1. In the neutral medium, the M factor is 3. Therefore, here we can write a very shortcut representation that is, than 153 for KMnO4. This is the ultimate one for calculation of permanganate M factor. So, the five star. Now, so what is the meaning of this Than 153? B means basic medium. For potassium permanganate, in basic medium, the M factor is 1. For potassium permanganate, in acidic medium, the M factor is 5. For potassium permanganate, in neutral medium, the M factor is 3. Why you are calculating M factor of the KMnO4? It is used to calculate the equivalent rate of the compound. So, any compound, gram, equivalent rate is equal to it's a gram molecular weight by M factor. So, gram equivalent weight of the potassium permanganate is equal to how much? The molecular weight of potassium permanganate is 158. Then, it is equal to 150 by 8, 5, 158 by 3, 158 by 1, depending on medium. So, finally, this is the calculation of M factor for KMnO4. Now, based on this application, let me explain one more example. Now, how to calculate M factor for one more compound that is barium permanganate. Barium permanganate. Barium the object state is plus 2, permanganate is MnO4 minus, then due to Christa's formula, Ba MnO4 twice, that is the formula of barium permanganate. Now, what is the M factor of barium permanganate in acidic medium? We already discussed the M factor of potassium permanganate in acidic medium, this is 5. We already discussed the M factor of potassium permanganate in acidic medium is 5. Then students, majority of the students uh, again taken as M factor for barium permanganate is 5. Now, we are discussing the M factor of barium permanganate. So, majority of the students uh, are taken as M factor for barium permanganate also 5. In acidic medium, because now let us discuss in acidic medium. In acidic medium, M factor for potassium permanganate is five. This is already explained just now. Based on potassium permanganate concept, in barium permanganate also there is a permanganate ion present. Then the students, majority of the students, and uh, factor for barium permanganate is also taken as a 5. Yes. But the barium permanganate and factor in which 
Feeling permanent ion is permanent ion. Then it is converted to Mn plus 2 in acidic medium. Then change in RJ state is again 5. Change in RJ state is again 5. But is it equal to n factor of the barium permanganate? That is a very important question. Change in RJ state is 5. But the n factor of barium permanganate is not equal to 5. Because as per definition of n factor, n factor nothing but change in oxygen state per 1 mole of the compound. Now here 1, one mole of the compound contain MnO4 take twice. Therefore here we take MnO4 take twice for 1 mole of the compound. For 1 mole of the compound MnO4 contains take twice. Then that means here 2 take 2 Mn plus 2. Then the RJ state of overall manganese here plus 14. The RJ state of overall manganese here plus 4. Then plus 14 to plus 4, change is 10. Then this is taken as M factor for barium permanganate. This is a very, 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 very important one. So, majority of the students are taken as M factor in acidic medium is a 5 for permanganate. But M factor of barium permanganate is 10 due to this reason as per the definition. Therefore, it is very clear what is the M factor of aluminum permanganate in acidic medium? What is the M factor of aluminum permanganate in acidic medium? That is the one more percent. So again, same concept. In one mole of aluminum permanganate contain three permanganate ions. Therefore, here we take MnO4 take minus take three times this is converted to three mole of mn plus two one mole of aluminium permanganate contain take three times then to balance this one here take three mn plus two the rj state of manganese in permanganate is plus seven for one manganese rj state is plus seven it is taken as three times then the RJ state is plus 21. Here three times the RJ state is plus 6. Plus 21 to plus 6. The change is 15. Hence M factor is taken as 15 or 10 or 5. That is a very important question. As per the definition, M factor nothing but change in RJ state per one mole of the compound. Here we take one mole of the compound, one mole of the compound. Then for one mole of the compound change is obtained, therefore this is taken as M factor. So M factor of, so this is the most, 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 most important for IIT advanced for point of view. And majority of the students are right or wrong here. So in potassium permanganate, in a sick medium is fine. Barium permanganate as students are considered, it is also permanganate, it is also permanganate, then it's stick and factor is taken as 5. Okay students, I hope you understand my explanation. We will continue this topic in next video. Please subscribe, like and share my channel. Thank you very much. We will continue this video in next video by new topics. Thank you very much.